Okay, my name is John Coles, helping on garden services, and I've been asked to do a design for a friend's garden, Stephen Diane's in Hambleton. Uh, so I'll show you how I start it on the software. Okay, so we start with a blank pad, put my graph on, uh, and then what we do then, we build up some layers. Okay, okay. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add grass area, the bed areas. Obviously this has all been measured out to start with. Okay, once I've done that, I can add patio areas. And then I can add other patio areas, living area, pool. And then I start adding some of the plants. Okay. And the plants start going up inside. And I can then move from this perspective area to the perspective area to help start building rockeries. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to perspective now. Okay, so the plants have been added down the borders down here, the outlying trees. Here is outside the actual garden itself. Okay, we can now add some people, the cameras, wildlife settings. Okay, so you can see there. Okay, so if I would like to add another plant somewhere, I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so we'll just scroll around in the garden here and get up a bit closer. Okay, so let's say I wanted to add a plant. So we're going to landscape, add a plant here. Okay, so we need to go into layer five, go into layer five, okay. Okay, so I decided I don't really like that heuchera there. So let's take, let's cut that out, okay. Go into plants and obviously they come up in perennials. Let's go into myth, see what we've got. And scroll down, pick out plants that I like. And that's a nice little, let's see what that is. Okay, so we've now got the plant there. Let's have a look at it. And it's prettier, so we'll put a prettier in. Okay. So we're we'll going to here now. There's a prettier. I can enlarge it a little bit. I need to. Okay. Make it a little bit smaller. So it just goes up. Slide there a little bit smaller. It's only a tiny gap we're going to push it into. Right, now then. So if we try to put it up on there, it is going to disappear. So we have to elevate it up. And there she goes, down a bit. There, and just put that in there nicely. Make it a little bit larger. There. And that's how we add the plants. I've added 537 to this garden. So that's how we do the plants. Okay, so there's obviously a lot more detail to it than that. We can hide everything and then just work on one particular layer. So if I just wanted to see the basic uh, design, everything's gone, I can now look at the beds. Okay, I can then go and look at the planters. Okay. 
we can go on again. There's an area there, we can look at that. That's the paved area, pool area. So, there's a pool there, maybe we have some in the back. There's another layer. Some building you can see. I think you get the idea of how it works. So, we'll show all. And there you go. Alright, so what we'll do now is we'll go into see the finished product project and camera two and get an overview from the top. This take a few seconds to load and um, while it's loading a design like this 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 probably I put this together in about seven hours from scratch, from basic measuring out, marking out and then adding the layers at night and as you can see you can see the, plant, the plants are very realistic there's some gazanias, delphiniums, oxide daisies and the panthers, coreopsis, dianthus and the design for this garden was uh, rigorins, lupins, was to use herbaceous plants and so that there's colour throughout the year. Starting early spring and really peaking. I wanted the peak of the flowers to be June, July, August. When the good weather's there, the garden seems to be getting used by family and friends. Okay. As you can see from this, it's um, quite lifelike, and um, we've got some nice ophias, a bit of pokers, you might know them as, the nicums, and you can see it's cannas as we're feeding into the plants, show themselves as the camera turns and to give their best view, so you'll see that. As you're walking along, you, they're, they're actually moving. You can the, 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 the plant is always presented it to you. The software is American. Uh, I first got software in 2010, updated in 2012, and then in 2014. In the early years, they didn't have a, a great plant list for you know for Western Europe really, so. Some of the, there wasn't a great deal of plants that we use in the UK on the plant list but um, in 2014 um, I think other landscaping architects must have got onto the company and most of the plants that we use as a base in, in landscaping in, in, in the United Kingdom um, they've added to the database um, as you can see it's fantastic software it's really realistic uh, the house I put on and I built, but I could take a fit picture of um, the actual house itself and put their house in this design and they'd be really realistic. Um, I can also take photos of the background of the, the lot of the plot outside the walls of the fisher which is next door and I could add that to it so it would make it really as though you were actually there. Okay, so I think we'll go out of that now and we'll try and give a, a look at camera one. This gives it an overview from above. Okay, and then I'll show you one or more, two more tricks that we can use in building this design. I think we need to take the graph off. We can't take the graph off. Um, just spawn a little bit. No. Okay, so this gives an overview from above. Like I say, it took me about six, seven hours work and designing this garden itself. Um, 
I've used it on about 10 or 12 designs because I'm, I'm, I'm retired really and I'm only really doing gardens for friends uh, I don't want to get to the commercial side of it uh, I had 20 years uh, with lunch account engineering services to be honest um, you know some women semi-retired I just help and friends really and help them with their gardens and, and they do a lot of the work uh, themselves prepare it and I just come in basically I'll, we'll go out and get the plants and then on occasions I'll go and put the, the plants in the positions where I feel they should be and um, I'll uh, leave them to get on and plant them you know some people obviously want me to plant them but uh, a lot of my friends have been looking after the gardens for a number of years and they're quite capable of putting their own plants in and they just come to me for my, my knowledge I'm 58 now so I've been over 40 years into gardening I started when I was 15 with Blackpool Parks Department so I've gained a lot of knowledge and, and that's what a lot of this is it's, it's easy to go down a plant list and look at heights and sizes and then add them and put them in but you've really got to have the understanding of uh, the location where you are the position you're going to plant it uh, some positions you can put a plant in it and it'll almost go as a dwarf then you'll move it to another position that suits it and it'll go six foot high so you've got to uh, you've got to have some plant knowledge and try to understand it a little bit uh, and I've been at it for over 40 years so I'm hoping I've learned something but I'm learning all the time you know, I'm 58 and I'm quite happy to use software this I can remember working the parts when I was 15 and all the doing drawings up in the offices and this all had to be drawn by hand and there was nothing like this at all you know. to produce just a basic plan that you saw at the start I would probably be three four days work into it uh, you know, so things nowadays was, the tools that we've got like this makes my job easier uh, but you need to have experience you've got to know when you're planting you know, that they're not going to die or that you know and I'm quite happy that I could recreate this and go walk around the garden and take a video in the middle of August and it would look as real as this virtual video that I'm showing you now okay so we'll just have a look at a couple of other things before I go okay so one of the other things we can do with this software which is fantastic we'll just move into it'll load again in a second and I can walk around the garden again and show you one or two of the other features that, I, that we have uh, quite a lot of schemes that I use for these other gardens okay so if I just go up there let's go for a walk okay so we're going in now through and you can see I mean these, the, the detail on these plants is phenomenal, you know, look at that, you can almost touch them, it's so, it's so realistic, so, okay, so I think it's, it did cost me quite a lot of money software by the way, it's not cheap, it's not a free app or something, you know, it's many hundreds of pounds, it's probably not far for a thousand pounds now when I think about it. Okay, so let's feed the fish. So what's it there? Let's we'll just throw some food in. You'll see the fish come and get it. Look at that. How clever is that? Fantastic, isn't it? That's great. Okay. Okay, so let's go and have a walk over in to these people. I need to it is so lifelike, it's untrue. You know, look, they're moving ahead, they talk, they move the heads. 
know, speak, people can make them walk, animate them. Oh, hello. So it's. I hope you've enjoyed my little tour around Stephen Diane's garden. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Goodbye.